All right, ladies. Sorry, I look a little rough, so I'm not going to come out in the video. You probably don't want to look at me anyway. But I'm going to make some coliflor, um, which is right here. It's like a medium head. I just cut out the pieces. Um, I didn't really cut them. I kind of just peeled them off like, you know. Um, and then I washed it, rinsed it, and I just have it in the little pot right here. I have two yellow potatoes. Um, they're pretty small. Um, you can put potatoes um, if you want to. Uh, you don't have to. This is just optional. Definitely tomatoes, onions, and garlic, which I used um, the garlic that's already um minced and in a jar over here so that's what i'm going to use and then um we'll see the next video all right so i already cut up my potato you're going to cut them up uh pretty small sizes um the tomato the same way and the onions the same way i forgot to tell you one more ingredient um you're going to need eggs and then um the seasoning that's going to go in it i'll show you but it's pretty much just consume de pollo which and salt and pepper and that's it but i'll show you how i cook the coliflor first um and um how i'm going to put everything together okay sorry guys i'm waiting on my tripod so i can show you everything as i go and also um i am going to be putting these videos up in my youtube channel so once i have my youtube channel set up um i will let you guys know in in these videos so I don't have all my dishes here. There's some still in Chicago, so um, I'll be getting those soon. So um, I'm just gonna pretty much show you in this pan. It's kind of like a pan about this. You do want it a little bit deeper just because it's gonna be a lot of ingredients um, and then something that has a lid on it. Um, so this, I already turned it on. Also, don't mind me, I don't know how to cook very well with uh, an electric stove it makes it a little difficult for me so um let's hope this doesn't burn down anywho we're gonna put a little bit of oil i'm using extra olive oil so this is just so it won't stick oops maybe a little too much but anyway you're gonna put that you're going to put the cauliflower in there if some water goes in it it's fine okay all right so i put in the potato because the potato takes the longest to cook um so you want to start cooking it in and the onions in there um and the onion the reason i put it in is so it can start giving it flavor and this is why you probably want something a little bit um more deep because um when you turn it you don't want it to fall out of the the cazuela so um some pieces are a little bit big, like you want them a little bit smaller than that one. So let's break that one. Okay. And, um, okay, so this is kind of high. You're going to lower the heat to a medium heat, okay, and you're going to cover it. And you're going to add a tiny little bit of water, which I'll show you in the next, um, in the next clip. All right, so just going to add a little bit of water. Just about that. It's probably like a tablespoon of water and you want to mix it in all in there with the rest of the stuff, all right? And then you're gonna cover it, all right? And you're gonna let that cook until um, the cauliflower, the cauliflower is um, almost cooked. Um, you will see it, it will change into a little bit more translucent color like that. Um, as opposed to being really white like that okay and for a side i'm going to do beans um you can do black beans pinto beans whatever beans you want but this is the way that i'm going to do these beans um you have you can do homemade or can this is probably the easiest thing to do so i'm going to put a little bit of oil depending on how much you're going to make of course you're going to put the oil um, for me is about I want to say maybe two cans of uh, pinto beans um, so I let that warm up and then I'm going to add a piece of onion which I'll show you in the next clip and then chile de arbol all right which I'll show you in the next clip how I do it 
So also, depending on how spicy you want it, you're going to put as many chiles as you want. Um, I want it so, so spicy, so I'm, I only put like three and a half. Um, and those are just good enough for me um, because I'm going to fry this a little bit. Okay, we're going to fry this. And then we're going to fry it until the chile is a little bit like it turned a little bit darker than the color than it is like a dark red. And then we're going to take that out. Just the chiles. I won't take the cebolla out. I'll leave the cebolla in there. Um, but I do take the chiles out once they're a little bit fried. So you constantly kind of have to be moving it so it won't like burn. All right. If you burn, it will be very like um, amargo. So now that you see it's a little bit translucent, now I'm going to add the tomato. Um, and you add it in there, just like that, okay? And at this point, it should look like this, already all mixed in, okay? And then you took your chiles off of the, um, off of the thing. So they should look a little bit like this. They kind of burned a little bit, but it's okay. And then we'll add the beans now. So by this point, you already put the tomato and the um, everything in here. You mixed it up a little bit just to start cooking it. Um, and then I'm going to let this boil a little bit. And I'm going to put some salt and pepper. And then I'll add the chiles before I start mashing them um, down. Okay. All right, so once you've covered this for a little while, I wanna say maybe a few minutes, and everything is softened, um, then you're gonna add about that much of, con of consomme de pollo, all right? And then what I add is one sobrecito de sazón con azafrán, or con achiote, tomate y achiote, you know, or whichever you want to use that, it's orange, because I want it for the color. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit of pepper, okay, and then a little tiny, I'm going to taste it first, and then if it needs salt, I'll just add salt instead of more consomme de pollo. All right, so I've added um, the pepper, as you guys can see, the little black pepper dots, and um, a little bit less than a half of the azafran sazon. Um, and then I'm going to mix this together just so all of it is, um, you know, the one with tom tomate, the sazon with tomate, um, y achiote, that one is a lot better um, for the flavor that you want for this. I just don't have any here. Um, like I said, I haven't brought everything from Chicago, so I'm just pretty unlimited on, on my seasoning stuff. And I don't want to buy new because, I mean, I'm just going to go get it already, so pointless and your beans should start looking like this i already put in the the um the chile smashed them up and then these are pretty much done uh, i can probably turn off the fire now and these are pretty good so then the next step i'll show you all right so once everything is already mixed and the flavor is perfectly fine for you then you add the eggs i put about five or six eggs i think and then oh and i did forget to tell you the to show you guys the ajo i put it when i put in the tomato um so it should look about this um we're not quite done yet but this is like the egg pretty much cooked down and then you're just gonna add all the cheese um in there this is just like a quarter of a piece of a queso fresco so it's not a lot of cheese but then you stir that in and then that's it guys i will show you how i played it after this this is done